Hey everyone out there, it's the 3DJ channel. My name is Jay and today's video is about choosing your 3D printer. Um, to start off today's video, I want to talk about how to choose a 3D printer. Now before we start how to choose, let's go over how to research. First thing I did when it came to researching 3D printers is I went to YouTube. I looked at videos. Videos of people 3D printing and to see what machines they were using. Now, I also checked out some of the companies that make 3D printers and looked at their videos on YouTube as well as one on their websites. That was how I researched 3D printers. I watched videos. Pretty much the easiest thing you can do. From there, I had to ask myself the big questions and just take it from there. Um, start off, I wanted to find, I wanted to figure out where I was going to put my 3D printer. Um, I chose to put it in my room next to my computer so I had a better control over the 3D printer starting off when it comes to 3D printing. Like I wanted to be able to sit there. Some of you guys don't have a main computer, some of you guys have a laptop so anyone can choose where they want to put their, their hub for their 3D printer, but I chose right next to my pr my computer. Um, now, in choosing your area where you want to have your 3D printer, it constrains you on size. It tells you how big you can go with your 3D printer, which a lot helps you narrow down the choices for yourself. Um, and by narrowing down those choices, it also tells you how. Like I said, it tells you where you can go with your 3D printer and how much you can print with your 3D printer. Um, another thing I looked at when it came to the videos is I wanted, I saw a lot of people printing in different materials like you have PLA, ABS, Ninja Flex, carbon fiber, uh, glow in the dark filament. These are different things you can print in with a 3D printer. Now with a lot of these filaments you have to have a heated bed to be to print with so I was like alright I need a heated bed I wanted to have a heated bed I knew I already wanted to be able to print in multiple filaments so I made sure that my printer that I was going to purchase would have a heated bed which usually means you have to go with a bigger size printer not always there are some printers out there that are small and that have a heated bed but in the end I went with a, uh, a 10 by 10 by 10 build area which a heated, with a heated bed. Um, another thing you want to look into besides just having um, the area you want to have the 3D printer is being able to power it and being able to have it safely in that area, have to be able to vent out, having enough air. Um, being able to have all that those fumes and stuff in plastic being able to just get out of the room or get out get out the uh, the nearest exit to outside so those are things also you have to keep in mind when choosing a 3d printer and where you want to put it so let's go into now one more aspect that I recently um, came to realize with one of the things that after choosing my 3D printer. I mean, I wasn't keeping this in mind when I chose my 3D printer, but recently an uh, issue came up with my 3D printer, which in a way I wanted to bring to your attention with this video. Recently, I had an issue with my 3D printer where it had, un unfortunately, the heat plate for my heated bed had shorted out, causing my power supply to just shut off. So the printer would not turn on it would not initiate, it would turn off, turn off, or wouldn't even turn off at all. So through subsequent uh, printer support or uh, printer bot support, I was able to find out the heat plate was the issue with my printer and lo and behold it caused a whole bunch of issues. The wire going from, to, from the heat plate to the um, main motherboard within the printer melted it was like really melting and it was creating issues it created short pretty much so 
In the end, I switched out my plate, and now my printer bot is working very well. Today. By the way, printer bot Metal Plus is my printer, and it's doing perfectly fine. But this is something you have to take in effect when choosing your printer. Are you able to fix issues with it? Do you have the mechanical understanding to be able to do this? Now, I'm not saying everyone out there has to be a, a scientist or have a PhD or BA in computer science to be able to do this. You have to be able to understand computers enough to know there's an issue and to be able to troubleshoot your own technology, troubleshoot your own printer. So that's something I keep in mind when deciding on what printer you want. Uh, because maybe, because I mean, I'm not sure if my printer was that messed up, if PrinterBot would have taken it back, I would be able to ship it back to them, they would fix it and send it back to me. But I mean, I don't have that issue. I can fix it. If I can figure out what's wrong, I can change out hardware and stuff like that. But not everyone has that ability. So that is another aspect of printing that you need to take into effect when deciding on what printer you want. Um, overall, like I said out there guys, I am very passionate about 3D printing. I hope many of you guys are. Um, if you have any questions about, um, maybe questions I didn't ask myself in this video, like maybe questions that you have before you want to decide on what, what printer you want to get and you want to maybe ask me the same question, please leave a comment below. Please subscribe and please like this video. Um, I'm come hopefully going to have a future video soon about how I came to, well, how, how I came to know 3D printers or came the history with 3D printing and me, as well as going over some past future aspects of 3D printing in a future video soon. So, guys, please, like I said, subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll uh, see you guys later. Bye.